Hi. By special request, we are going to do a chapter from A Gift of Music on Felix Mendelssohn. Felix Mendelssohn lived from 1809 to 1847. A rather short life, but a happy one. Here is what is said in the book. At the age of 17, Mendelssohn composed the enchanting overture to Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. He never surpassed this music, and it set the standard for all subsequent concert overtures of the Romantic period. He made his first public appearance as a pianist when he was nine years old, and he began to write music when he was ten. Mendelssohn, in contrast to the modern school which underrates the music of the past, insisted one should learn from such masters as Bach and Handel without being merely imitative. Perhaps more than any other conductor, Mendelssohn contributed to shaping audiences' taste for good music. He had excellent musical taste himself, and demanded excellence in performance. Besides renewing interest in Bach and Handel, Mendelssohn also deserves credit for increasing the performances of works by Mozart and Beethoven. Felix Mendelssohn was born in Hamburg, Germany in 1809, the son of wealthy cultured Jewish parents who had become Lutherans. Mendelssohn was baptized in the Lutheran Church. In 1812, the family moved to Berlin. Both he and his sister Fanny were taught music by their capable mother. In the Mendelssohn family, the tradition of hard work was strongly established, and self-indulgence played no part in Mendelssohn's life. All through his life he felt an almost religious devotion to his family in general and to the father particularly as head of the family. The grandfather, Moses Mendelssohn, was a well-known philosopher. It is a great tribute to his personality that in the face of much racial prejudice at the time of Frederick the Great, he was so widely loved and respected. Mendelssohn's father said of himself, after his son became a well-known composer, pianist, and conductor, Formerly, I was known as the son of my father, and now the father of my son. Even though Abraham was less distinguished than his father and his son, he was a remarkable character too and a man full of deep family affection. Of all the composers we have considered, Felix Mendelssohn seems to have been the most versatile. He could paint and draw excellently. He also was a bit of a literary artist, as judged by his letters and occasional poems. He was an all-round athlete, and musically he had many talents. He was a composer and conductor. He played the piano and organ amazingly well and was more than an adequate performer on the violin and viola. Being able to do so many things and to do them well placed a burden on Mendelssohn. He tended to do too many things. And this plus his natural restless temperament and the emotional tensions which are part of creativity sometimes resulted in a rather ineffectual fussiness in some of this music. So they make the point that his early death is definitely connected to overwork. Um, yes, I was going to now uh, read to you Mendelssohn was one of the first artists, artists to play a concerto by heart in public. That he was a modest man in spite of his giftedness 
and high, high standing in society is illustrated when at a concert the score for one of his trios was mislaid. Mendelssohn put another volume upside down on the music stand and had a friend turn the pages in order that he might not seem to be playing by heart when his colleagues had to have notes. Mendelssohn was the greatest 19th century composer of oratories and like Bach and Handel he knew the Bible well. His two most celebrated works are called Elijah and St. Paul and they are still performed. The music of Felix Mendelssohn breathes goodness and happiness. His name, Felix, means the happy one. He was a gifted person, and he used his gifts to the glory of God. They do mention that he was married and had five children. So in spite of his very short life, he accomplished amazing stuff. A lot, a lot to, to be carried on. The next, uh, well actually this also made me think of the scripture that's well known about uh, a man living uh, for uh, an extended time. So I wanted, I just wanted to read this verse. This part is the familiar part. The length of our days is 70 years or 80 if we have the strength. Yet their span is but trouble and sorrow and they quickly pass and we fly away. But what I like to notice is just two verses down from that. In verse 12 it says, Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. So it's, it's not long life that matters, it's what you do with your life that matters. And having that knowledge that, that we should use our time well. That's something that I think we've tried to model in raising Max, making him think every day is important and we should do our best and use our gifts. Next we are going to, to look at the life of Claude Debussy. And David will link to this video uh, Mendelssohn's performance of of uh, A Midsummer Night's Dream, which has been called the greatest music ever written by a 17-year-old, even including Mozart. <laughs> 